medieval ship found in Norway's biggest lake. Welcome to Eagle News Channel. A shipwreck from centuries ago rests at the bottom of Msa, Norway's largest lake. The ship, with its stem pillars and overlapped planks, dates to between the 1300s and 1800s. Mission Saw aims to survey the lake bed using high-resolution sonar technology. The Norwegian Defense Research Establishment conducted the mission two years following ROV investigations of munitions-dumped regions of the lake. The lake provides drinking water for around 100,000 Norwegians, therefore the explosives constituted a health danger. Lake surveyors spotted the shipwreck. The mission's primary investigator, a maritime archaeologist at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, expected to find shipwrecks while mapping dropped weapons. The possibility of finding well-preserved shipwrecks was high statistically. Medieval ship. The wreckage was photographed in sonar imagery, which uses sound pulses to identify and quantify underwater areas. The ship was 33 feet long. Fresh water and lack of wave activity kept the ship in immaculate shape, except for a few iron nails at either end. Dagrid believes the corroded metal indicates the wreck has been on the lake bed for hundreds of years. All of the ship's nails may dissolve, he said. In the ship's stern, there are signs of a central rudder, which first appeared in the late 13th century. Archaeologists used these two traits to date the ship to between 1300 and 1850. The ship appears to be built from overlapping Norse boards. The Vikings employed clinker construction to make ships lighter and stronger. Dagrid believed the ship sank in heavy weather since it was in the middle of the lake. Most likely, the ship had square sails, which were difficult to navigate in high winds Vikings. The Srum logboat, discovered in the Bingen booms on the Glama River, dates around 170 BC. The 2,200-year-old shipwreck was well preserved. Wooden shipwrecks can be effectively preserved in freshwater since it lacks critters that consume wood, Dagard remarked. If we're going to find undamaged Iron Age or medieval vehicles in Norway, Lake Msa would be the place to go, given it had a lot of shipping and trading. Dagard says there are gaps in what is known about the lake before and during the Viking Age. Any find, regardless of antiquity, can help us understand how shipbuilding developed in an inland lake compared to the Nordic countries. Explore further. The study team employed Kongsberg Maritime's Hugen to map the lake's bottom. Dagrid says this is the first time such technology has been utilized in freshwater archaeology. He deemed Hugen's study application unusual. On the penultimate day of the expedition, the researchers sent down a ROV to film the wreck but poor weather forced them to abort. Dagrid will return next year. The researchers map the lake's bottom. So far, they've mapped only 15 square miles, 39 square kilometers. Dagrid expected more shipwrecks. We found vessels from the area's earliest days. They could be present and good, Dagrid said. Nothing is impossible. Thank you for watching.